So, if you were to be considered as one side of a mega fight, right? What would be a surefire way to make sure that fight didn't happen? I don't know, but maybe you could start by constantly insulting the other side of the potential promotion, right? Maybe you could give them constant ultimatums. Uh, maybe impossible or very, very difficult to meet ones. Maybe, maybe you do something along those lines. Or how about negotiating through social media? That's that's always a good one, right? Right. But Tyson Fury called him out. AJ Ducky. Give the video a like, goddammit. Comment, sub. Check out my Patreon. Thank you to those who signed up recently. Um... Like I said before, man, like I said before, uh, Tyson Fury just has a difficult time saying this man's name, right? He doesn't know how to pronounce it properly. And the other day, he got pretty close to it, right? He said, you called me out. So that means we're going to fight. Because you're a real man, says Tyson Fury, right? He's still not getting many Giga Char's name correctly, but we're getting close. We're getting close. I thought that was funny. I heard it on uh, Blue Collar Sports uh, live stream yesterday. Many Giga Char. Speaking of many, I don't know what ha happened to his uh, midsection there, but he probably had his heart surgically removed. But despite his dashing good looks, the man is a bum. Let's just keep it real. Sorry, Manny. Use a bum. Not according to the WBC, obviously, who have recently installed him at number 19. Now, I keep hearing people saying that they're going to put him in the top 15. Uh, but... Maybe the WBC have recently revised the rules and it's uh, anybody in the top 20 that could fight for their title. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, the more all the idiots, right? All the neophytes, all the shills, all the dummies. I guess I already said that. Uh, the more they, you know, talk about the green belt, right? <laughs> the, the less uh, legit in my eyes. It is, right? I mean, just look at who uh, upholds that nonsense. Anyway, yeah, it's not an argument. But, you know, go fuck yourself. Uh, yeah, there he is, right? Many gigachar at number 19 in the ratings. Now, what is this minus 19? Does that mean that he was 19 places lower prior to this ranking? Is that what that means? So as you guys know, taking screenshots of the WBC rankings has become my favorite pastime as of late. So 19 plus 19, if indeed that is what it means, would be 38, right? Did uh, Manny Giga Chad just recently change his name or something? I don't know, but he's not even in the top 40, right? According Wasn't, according to the previous... WBC heavyweight rankings, right? McKean, Morrison, Cadiru, Forrest, Sak Sak yeah. Uh, any, anybody see Gigachar in these rankings? Oh, by the way, if 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 anybody wants their own green belt, right? It's only fifteen hundred dollars. That shit comes cheap. I know, I know, I know. Ripping on the WBC is really picking low-hanging fruit, but hey, it's fun. Yeah, so if Ed Jagba was the former number 19, Jalalov is over there in the top 20, Sirenko just outside of it, Pulev, Yoka, Kabayel, Chisora, Hrgovic, Hunter, Kosobutsky, Bakoli, Walin, Helenius, Ortiz, White, Mahmudov, Ruiz, Junior, Sanchez, Parker, Joyce, Joyce, Parker, what? Wilder. So just as uh, 
Tyson Fury, um, as he phoned uh, Mauricio Suleiman, <laughs> shalom brother, uh, to remove Parker and Joyce, right, out of their rankings. I guess he called them just the other day and told them to put Gigachar in side the top 20 because what well, that is who he wants to fight right that is who he wants to fight so um gee kind of a shit video what are you gonna do so yeah the whole calling out aj stunt i mean from the very beginning it seemed unlikely that the fight was going to get made because again you know fights like that take some time to make and I think AJ would have taken the fight I think he's willing to take the fight but he's not just gonna bend over backwards and give Fury everything he wants and and cater to his every single whim because AJ economically I mean I don't know but but I would say he's at least 50% of this promotion economically right but because you know he this would be giving him doing him a, a sort of a favor right because he doesn't really deserve to be in there right now and he's kind of desperate for you know he can't get a big fight right now not really it's not likely that he can so he'll take 40 fair enough but at the same time they're not just gonna let tyson fury dick him around right they're they're probably gonna try to push a rematch clause and you know there's there's always sponsorships you have to deal with uh, see if any of fury sponsorship sponsors have have a problem with any of aj sponsors right like if i, I mean I, I i don't know but let's say um fury is also sponsored by some kind of a sports drink or he has his own sports drink right we know tyson uh the sorry uh, AJ is also right. It's not likely that two different sports strings uh, want to compete, uh, you know, in, in the same prom- just a whole bunch of different bullshit. And there's just so much that goes into making these big, 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 big fights uh, that it, it's not likely they don't get done in a matter of weeks, usually. Right. So it was it was pretty predictable, easy to see that this fight wasn't going to happen now. Right for a host of different reasons, but but I believe AJ would take this fight, provided he's not completely getting fucked around by Fury, right? Because from everything that he said in the past, AJ is a greedy motherfucker, man. He's super greedy, right? Uh, one of his quotes that comes to mind, and it's not a verbatim direct quote, but something along the lines of you know how making a million dollars is that's for the Oh geez, right? That that used to be the ceiling. Now it's about a billion. The guy's fucking greedy, right? He's he's in this to make money, which is which is cool because you know being in his position, like he'll fight the fights, right? He'll fight the biggest, which generally means the best fights, right? So so in a way that's cool. But so I think he would have taken this fight, but at the same time, Fury's out there, you know, insulting them, negotiating publicly. While Frank Warren is telling him to chill, Frank Warren is being diplomatic and, and or whichever Warren it is that's dealing with her directly, right? Well, meanwhile, Fury is just attacking AJ, insulting him, negotiating uh, openly and giving ultimatums, right? Like, that's, that's not how you make a fight, especially on short notice. That's just not how you do it, right? That's how you kill a fight. And the simple fact that Hearn and AJ are still negotiating uh, leads me to believe that they will take this fight provided it's not a complete fucking screw job so I don't think Fury wants this fight right now and he's been negotiating I mean th- he's been negotiating with Shar for like three years now you know that that's how difficult it is to make a fight with Tyson Fury you know what I mean so I think uh, now that Shar has his has had his heart removed, which is probably part of the Tyson Fury contract, you know, he's he's the logical next opponent for Tyson, and he's finally learning how to say his name, if not entirely correctly. So, look, th- this is a sham, right? This this is a joke. 
and all that Tyson Fury is doing is excusing while at the same time promoting this clown show that he will put on versus Manuel Shar or maybe someone even worse than that, right? Oh, I tried to make the AJ fight, but blah, 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 right? He ducked me. Uh, if Tyson Fury is all those things that he says he is and his fanboys believe he is, right? He could fight Joe Joyce in this next fight. He will be the favorite. And he will probably, it's it's likely that he will beat Joe Joyce, right? But it, but if he is all those things that his fanboys say he is, he's going to school Joe Joyce, right? If he is all those things that he says he is, right? Joe Joyce won't be able to touch him. That's an easy win, right? Well, let's just keep it consistent, right? After that, he could fight Usyk and he'll beat Usyk, right? And after that, AJ will have fought a couple B-level guys, maybe, maybe knocked them out or whatever, maybe gotten some of his, you know, balls back or his former glory, whatever, right? His his uh, mojo, groove, whatever the fuck you want to say it, however you want to say it. And, and then that'll be an even bigger fight, right? Even at 50-50, both of them will make a lot more money, right? So if Tyson Fury is that guy, right? Right, guys? He could fight these three men in the next year, year and a half and beat them all. And if he does that, he could retire as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. No questions asked. Maybe not the best, but definitely up there, right? I think that would be fair. <sighs> But why would he do that when his fanboys say he already is, right? And if his fanboys truly believe that he already is, then why would they ask him to prove it, right? But but it doesn't make any sense, guys. See, this is why I no longer fuck with Tyson Fury. I did in the beginning. When all of you were saying that Pricey was going to spark him out, he was a bum, blah, 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 blah. He couldn't hold AJ's jockstrap, all this nonsense, right? I used to fuck with Fury because I saw the talent and he seemed to want to fight the fights. And then slowly but surely, you know, especially starting with that performance he had versus old Klitschko, which, you know, was questionable. He won the fight, but come on, man. If, if you... If you are the next best thing, if you're so much better than Klitschko, right? You dispose of an aging champion in dominant, impressive fashion. He couldn't do that, right? Look at what Pacquiao did to De La Hoya. Look at what De La Hoya did to Chavez, right? And so on and so forth. Look at what Muhammad Ali did to um, Archie Moore, was it? Right, look at what Muhammad Ali did to, or what, what was done to Muhammad Ali by Holmes, what Tyson did to Holmes, right? So on and so forth. If, if you're that guy, right, if you're better, right, or, or even on the same level of, as Klitschko is, right, if you are to be in the conversation as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, like Klitschko is, right, on that level, you're supposed to be knocking out an old Klitschko legitimately or beating the shit out of him if you don't necessarily have that kind of power. I mean, it's the fucking heavyweight division. You're supposed to, right? So right then and there, I started questioning Tyson Fury's balls because he definitely had the skill to go in there and beat up Klitschko and stop him, but he didn't have the balls to do it. And that's just the truth. It took him a fight and a half to do that to bum-ass Wilder. Now, don't get me wrong. Wilder has a big punch and he's dangerous. But come on, man. He got no skills. So, long story short, if, if you fucking weirdos out there, right? Dick riding Tyson Fury after calling him a bum for all these years, right? Now that you, you jumped on that dick because you're just a bunch of hoes. That's really what you are. Right? If you really truly believed he was that which he says he is, and you just run around repeating it, he would fight Joyce in December, then he would fight Usyk early next year, and by the end of next year, you would get that mega fight between he 
and AJ. And even if he loses one of these fights, the AJ fight will always be there anyway. Right? So I, I don't see any kind of consistency. Uh, the energy is all over the damn place, right? He's so great. He's so amazing. And here he is fighting Manuel Shah. And you'll still watch it and you'll still pay for it. And he's going to make a ton of money. And the reason why he will, why he's even fighting Shah, is because of you, dumb fox, right? Because if everybody kept it real, right? and was truly interested in the best versus the best or something close to it, they wouldn't pay for this shit. He, he, would, he should be ridiculed unanimously, universally by everybody. And yet there he is talking about a fourth fight with Deontay Wilder. <laughs> that, he's going to fight a bum dosser, right, guys? But no, if that fight is to pop off, oh, my God, and I hope it isn't, right? The narrative will, will change completely, right? Well, De Deontay Wilder is the only man since Cunningham and whoever else it was back in the day, right? To knock down Tyson Fury. No one has ever knocked Tyson Fury down as many times as Deontay Wilder has. He almost went the distance with Tyson Fury. In the <laughs> he got a draw. <laughs> oh, my God. This shit's so pathetic. I'm out of here, man. This has taken way too fucking long. My apologies, right? Congratulations to Manny Gigachar. He's been chasing the Tyson Fury fight for years now. But I guess he was too good for Tyson Fury to fight him instead of Safari or whatever the fuck his name was. I guess he was he was too good for Tyson Fury to fight him. Uh, instead of Schwartz or whoever, whatever other bum. Tyson Fury cherry pick, right? Anyway, but you know, he, I know, I get it, I get it, I get it. I, I know what the narrative is going to be now. I, I, it just occurred to me. Shout out to all the Tysonettes, right? The the lineal champion, right? Who never retired? We, we, he he's fighting Manuel Char because he's coming out of retirement, right? That, uh, yeah, speaking of consistency, you guys are a bunch of fucking clowns. In in order to support a clown like Tyson Fury and Char, here's another clown for you. You got to be an absolute fucking clown, man. He's... Thanks for watching. Go fuck yourself.